Hi, my name is Kevin. This is my short bus right here, my four window. 1994 Ford E350 7.3 diesel power stroke. Let's go inside, check this out. Welcome inside of Starfire. Short window bus, four window. A lot, you can tell, pretty short inside as I'm 6'2 right here. It goes right up to my shoulders. Pretty much it's the self-built DIY, do it yourself. First time ever building a bus, never had any experiences with a school bus or little experience with van life. And I bought this and let's dive right into just building it and experiencing this bus life. <laughs> nice, how tall is it in here, do you know? Uh, yeah, if I'm the 6'2", I would guess it's about five foot in here. It's pretty <laughs> short, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, over here we have custom built storage bench area. So we have storage in each side over here random DIY do it as you go figure it out along the way and we got storage on this side also right here just quick easy access nothing too fancy and then we got this right here for when I have guests and company over and we want to have some dinner and enjoy some time have the window and the beach right there you take this up you lift it up and you latch it right here into into here on some shelving from a garage and you got yourself a nice little dinette set right here where you, your lady, friend, whatever, have a nice little dinner, enjoy the view. And when it's ready to, want to have a little couch, maybe some company over, you can pop it down, slide it back in, and eventually we're going to upholster this so it's going to be nice and cushioned, nice little, little bench and a couch, and then when we need it, we can make it into a dinette area. And back here, we got a very small bed. We've got a twin size mattress back here. It's going to get upgraded to a, a queen. It's just pretty simple, just built out of plywood. Nothing crazy. Everything's kind of uh, in progress right now. Just two by fours and some plywood just cut to custom dimensions. Painted it underneath and did some holes so the mattress breeze don't get mold and all that. This is eventually going to be a nice little drawer, nice face, slide out, all that. We got custom little closet right here up here i use as a i don't know like bathroom kitchenette type thing right there just random like hygiene stuff keep yourself clean just little storage for now until i build a drawer and make it a little bit fancier and then artwork hang up gotta have artworks from the homies you can't just be sitting here with no art we got a nice little little closet in here pretty simple we built it out with just a uh, nice, nice little rod. Just hang your clothes up, throw some backpacks in there. Eventually, we're going to have some nice little shelving. And uh, yeah, really just uh, kind of learning as I go. Not too experienced with building stuff. This is all done myself out of wood and just draw it up super simple and try and build it. <laughs> and then uh, we make our way over here. We got a custom countertop that me and my father made. It is. 100% epoxy and resin on plywood with just spray paint. All it is is Rust-Oleum spray paint, spray painted in the in a can and dumped. And just we dumped it in random patterns and let it spread everywhere. And that's how we got all those nice different textures, good, good flakes and makes a cheap piece of wood look real nice and real easy. Over here we got some simple 12 volt right here for charging. It, the bus is run off of um, two separate batteries underneath two car batteries that's run to a power inverter inside and all we do is it, it's just hooked up to the engine and when i'm running the bus it charges the batteries up and overnight i can charge my phone laptop any electronics i need and it, i haven't had ran into issues it's super simple so no solar no solar um do you feel yeah. like you need it? I do not feel like I need solar yet. Maybe summertime I'll see. I'd like to put a fridge in here, but I I believe I could run everything off this 12 volt off of just two batteries. And, oh. Uh, Are they AGM or lead acid or? I believe they're AGM. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty simple to install. Just uh, running wires and electricity pretty much to get it all ready to roll. Cool. And then, yeah. Down here we got a little custom sink that I bought from Habitat from Humanity. It was a two side sink 
and I just cut it directly with a saw in half, put it in here, measured it out, and I bought a pump from a boat. And I just have a, a billage pump and a water storage system under here. I also have a gray tank underneath to catch my dirty water. And then I, I dump it in other places where it's uh, safe to dump so. How, how much how much water do you have in here? I have... Like clean, for, like what? how big is the tank? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Yeah, I got this little this little guy right here that you get just from like a Walmart or anything like that. Oh. And I will fill this up with just water bottles or I'll go to a, a fountain or somewhere real nice and fill it up. And this lasts me three, four weeks of just wow. nonstop water use of cooking and boiling water and having a good old time. Wow. We got the good old classic Home Depot emergency, emergency, <laughs> extremely emergency toilet. <laughs> you know? Uh, where's the water pump? The water pump is right here. It is very small. Oh, wow. It is, it is a marine boat village water pump. And I bought all of this connecting off of Amazon as the full kit for under $30. What? Yes. So does the, it does it come together, the it, pump and the... It comes with the pump and um, it comes with the faucet and then you just hook them all up and then you have to have your own power source, of course. But yeah, we just ran a hose from this. It's as simple as it gets, it's just a giant tank and we just run it along and it fills right through there and it just builds just through. Bro, we need a link for that. Absolutely. Wow, that's the one of the simplest electric yes, water exactly. systems I've ever seen. Yeah, and the way we were trying to build it is uh, not extremely knowledgeable in any of this, and I wanted to build it simple and then go as I go and see if this is something I really want to do and really dive into, and it will keep getting improved over and over, and every time we work on this bus, it gets a little bit better and a little bit nicer and it feels like home each and every time we work on it. So like your water system mm -hmm. is so simple. Yeah. Like everybody's got like the crazy expensive water pumps yep. and the accumulator tanks yeah. and all that crap. Exactly. Why is this so much e Why is there such an easy alternative that nobody knows about? It is a simple turn on a switch. It pulls water out and it's as simple as it gets. You have a, you have a tank where it holds the water you have a pump down there and it draws uh, air and water through and it pulls it right up. And all you need is a power inverter and at least one uh, car battery to run it through and you can have this thing running up in no time. And do you still have to vent the water tank too? No, absolutely what? not. I just have a, a tank down there that I just have and I, it's completely locked up and I just, I don't do anything to it. I just fill it up, put it in there, screw it on and turn on my water. That's wow. as simple as it gets. All right, so what, what got you into bus life? Like, what made you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you yeah. could have bought a van yeah, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, what got you into buses? Okay, so buses, um, I had a minivan that I was living in for two years. Wasn't doing any of the uh, posting or having fun with it, really. Just living in it to save money and stack up. Was going to get in an apartment and do all that and go to the city. And uh, I was in the city one day with all my money and looking around on the internet and found a school bus and uh, I seen him around driving and I just thought you know that'd be cool and that just looks cool and uh, I bought it and I I didn't know what I was doing what I was getting into uh, how much work it would cost how where I'd even take it and drive it around what I'd do with it and I just decided to buy it and dive into it without doing too much research <laughs> so uh, you just sent it yeah I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to look into it too much and get discouraged by okay. um, all the problems or all the things to do with bus life and the, yeah I just I just dove right in and um, built it all out of just googling stuff and uh, just DIY that's it we got just a couple cabinets right here and for a simple just so your drawers don't fly out you don't have that bus life problem with your stuff flying up front we put on a couple um, latches and the way they work is you can move them like this side to side and it won't so you have to move it up directly in the center like that and slide it open and your drawer opens now latch it and try it when you're done and it's closed like that you can get this thing up 
a little bit of play, but it doesn't go anywhere when I'm driving. I don't, it doesn't slam around like that. They stay real still and I haven't had a single issue of anything popping open or any of my stuff flying around. And these were extremely cheap off of Amazon. Link. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll send you a link for that for sure. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen those before. Yeah, exactly. They're super cool. And then did you get the? Did you just get these off Amazon too? Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, with with these right here, we went to a hardware store and we bought some one inch uh, steel to to screw through to the post, so the the support post in the bus. Um, and we screwed those directly into that, and then we put some bracketing screwed bracketing directly into that, and then underneath is as simple as that it is shelving wow. just a couple shelves and you just hook it up you can have multiple heights for whatever you want uh oh uh oh <laughs> work in progress <laughs> we got some lighting back here that i hooked up and as simple as it is it's run off a power inverter over here I got simple Walmart just stick up lights that you see in the house, the home section, and it's all fully adjustable. We can make it, we can dim it up, dim it down. We can go into party mode. We can have some fun, you know? <laughs> and it's super simple. And uh, back here, we got a nice little 20 inch TV that's run off of it. We could play DVDs, watch TV, Netflix, uh, play Nintendo, all that. And it's all super simple, just hooked up back here. Uh, really nothing to it just kind of just do it as simple as I can and then upgrade as I go how big is the inverter inverter is a 1500 watt power inverter that I bought off of Amazon for under $30 I believe a 1500 watt yes, inverter absolutely and it's run off of two car batteries underneath that are hooked up and mounted Wow. Yeah, absolutely super super simple and uh, it works great. I've had no issues with any of it Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about the artwork on the bus. All right, yeah, the artwork on the outside of the bus and inside is all done by me. The reason I wanted it so colorful and so nice is I love painting, I love showing my art off, and I finally got a vehicle where I feel like I could put my art on the outside and everyone would be giving me thumbs ups and saying hi, pulling over, saying what's up, asking who did it, how long it took to do, how I did it. And uh, each side of the bus pretty much is all my favorite areas of Oregon. So on the passenger side, where the, the door is you get out of, we have beach and palm trees. On the back door, we have redwoods. And on the far right, we have snow covered mountains and beautiful lakes. And in the front, we have a desert with porcupines and uh, cactuses and all that. For a uh, simple um, cooktop for right now, I want to do a, uh, a stove built into it or induction. Not entirely sure yet. This is working perfectly fine. But I have Ozark Trail from Walmart. Walmart special right here. Does fine, runs off of Coleman propane. And I cook everything I need on here. I'll cook steaks and full meals and then we'll have great dinners and great bus live videos of us cooking. And it's all done off of propane, uh, outdoor, camping so pretty much so how much money do you think you have invested in this build oh uh, in the build interior not even a thousand dollars super simple super cheap the floors are from habitat from humanity they're super cheap they pop in they they lock into each other it is as simple as it gets so as a whole how much do you think is in this under four thousand dollars i have in the bus i paid three thousand dollars for the bus fix it up myself and did some mechanics work to it, save myself a lot of money, and then everything else is just do it yourself and build it out of plywood. So wait, all in your four grand? Yes. <laughs> That's probably the cheapest build I've heard of. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, I just, I didn't have a lot of money and I wanted to get into bus life and I just did it as simple and as cheap as possible. Wow. And then, wow. So how long have you been in the bus? I have been in this bus from July 2020 and it is March 2021. Uh, so not crazy long. Most of the time it took was me building the interior and the longest thing I had to wait for was COVID and having the DMV do my paperwork. <laughs> that was pretty much the longest struggle 
I had to wait over six months to get my paperwork to drive this legally. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> to make money and support myself and travel around in the bus, I am a full-time farmer and I travel around from farm to farm with the bus and I stay on properties and I work on their farm and I go to the next one. And I pretty much just stay there for as long as I need to stack up some money and go travel to the next beautiful spot. Anyone who is interested in getting a bus or a van or any vehicle that you want to live in to make your home permanently or for weekend trips or just to go out and have some fun with, uh, definitely I would suggest do it. Do it. Just buy a vehicle and do it. Uh, if you're wanting to get into this lifestyle and you think it would be fun, even as a weekend warrior, full timer, just uh, occasionally, it is worth it. It's just finding the right fit for you, what you think would work for you stylistically, um, what would work affordably, and what you think would you'd use the most out of a bus, a van, or a vehicle. And I definitely. Um, Say, don't get in, uh, discouraged by looking up other bus people stuff and all their problems. Uh, those are their problems. You're gonna have your own down the line, or you won't. Uh, it could work out great, or you can have a bunch of problems. It's just, it's, it's what, it just, it's how it's gonna go. You can't really predict if it's gonna go super smooth or if it's gonna be extremely rough. I would suggest uh, expect rough, and then when the smooth happens, just be super stoked because it, it's worth it. Those rough times and those sides where you're not too sure, you're overwhelmed on what you're gonna do or how to build it or how much you're gonna spend, it by the time you're done or even driving around halfway done, it is so worth it. Just to have a little bit of something you've worked so hard on and that you could call your own. Yeah, if you're looking to follow uh, us on Instagram or any of our adventures, you can follow Star Fire Short Bus on Instagram and uh, that's where we're at. We're just traveling around having a good time. Uh, just DIY it. If you see us, come say hi. Just see us rolling around. Cool.